What could possibly be in the box, you may ask? Well, only the highest quality, lowest cost, and easiest to source Conrod on the internet. So now they're here, we can finally get to work confirming the measurements and manufacturing the crank pin. And the beauty of these bad boys is I could purchase each of them shipped for $30, whereas Honda would only sell me an entire crankshaft. And I know it's not the best, but it has been about 11 years since I've had to put pen to paper to carry out any drawing. So we're going to make it out of this. There's a few considerations being we have to leave 25 mils on the end to grab it with a driving dog. It needs center holes on both ends, which I want to have removed at the end. And it also needs to be drilled through from one side and have two holes for oil feed to the big ends and one oil feed hole to the main internal gallery. So other than that I'll just do the lathe work for now, being turning down the diameter and placing the centre holes. As a precaution to limit the concentricity errors of the centre holes, I am making sure the chuck jaws are clean. And after a quick squirt of oil into the spindle bearings, we're ready to machine. The lathe is set to around 1000 RPM, and I'm using my go-to insert. It is of Chinese origin and allegedly for turning hard materials. A pack of 10 is about $15, and only time will tell if they live up to the task. And thankfully, the garage is well ventilated, as I ended up changing back to my general purpose insert and used a thin film of cutting oil. Probably not necessary, but it does look kind of cool. Also, let me know in the comments if you want longer, more detailed videos, or if you prefer the quick updates. Also, check out that live center. I guess you truly do get what you pay for. And if you were a betting person, I bet you'd know where I got that live center, and I bet you could find out how much I paid for it. The same place I got the Conrods, all the M-Mills, the lathe inserts, the lathe tooling, and a bunch of other crap in my shed. And just throwing it out there, make sure you like and subscribe if you are enjoying the build. It definitely helps with my motivation and growing my channel. Since all of my smaller drill bits were at work and the lathe there is capable of over double the RPM, I decided to stay late and drill the 3mm oil gallery hole. I also utilised the drill press and the dividing head to get the gallery feed hole on the correct angle. Here is the pin just before I dropped it off to the company doing the grinding and heat treatment. Since it would be too hard to machine off the center holes and the 25mm for the driving dog, I was advised to add a part off groove so I can easily remove the ends with an angle grinder with a thin cut off wheel. So the hardened and ground pin should be in my hands in about two weeks and from there I will be able to assemble the crank and then assemble the bottom end.